Okay, guys, Simsy is giving me a bit of a request here. Apparently, uh, jo the Joffrey forces at Harrenhal are coming a bit of a problem, so he sent majority of his garrison at River Run to go take care of him. He's requested that I leave this guy here to uh, watch over River Run, just in case the Greyjoys decide to attack from this area. Uh, which is fine. We can deal with the Ironborn on the coast without the help of Horsebane. Okay, how many good units do we have in this? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's say five at least. We want to move. Two, three, four. I want to give Rob the main, like, decent host of troops to command. Huh. <laughs> Brandon is not a good fucking administrator of castles. But we will keep Carl Stark in there for now. He can, uh, hold the Castly Rock for now. Making build a God's Tree might make him a bit happier about being under command of us. Just build a fort there for now. Uh, he's sending the Blackfish south to get crow oh, crap. Okay, I'll give Simps a head up about that. You probably don't want to go south down there, mate. You'll need a bigger army. <laughs> Although the Greyjoy's forces are relatively weak, I'm probably going to recommend he stays at Landsport for a bit and lets me help him out with those guys later on. But yeah, we got the Horsebane set up there. The original plan was to send him along the coastline and t uh, siege Banefort, but if he needs my help there, then better safe than sorry, really. But yeah, we have our forces, really. Uh, John Umber's men can join up with Brandon when we move. And we'll move up the coastline and take out the Greyjoys. At least move them off the mainland. Uh, we'll probably send some forces to the Iron Islands to help out Simps over there and Edmund. And then we'll send Brandon, I think, back here to help deal with the Greyjoys that are in the Westerlands at Craycore. So guys, that's all for now already. Let's go to the next turn. What is up and is going on guys? Simpsy here and welcome back to my house Tully. So, let's get straight right into it, shall we? We were besieging Pike in the last episode. So, seeing as Pike is a fortress, and looking at the Ironborn at the moment, looking at their army, we do outnumber them. Two to one. And, uh, seeing as Ironborn... They've only got Ironborn Raiders, they haven't got really anything too special. And, also, seeing that it's a fortress, it'll probably take 20 minutes to take. Uh, and it's not... It's not like we're going to lose, so I kind of want to play battles that I'm losing, to be quite honest. And, uh, to be honest, if I want to resolve it, I'm going to win. So, uh, we've now taken Pike, and uh, we've killed Balon Greyjoy, which is good for us. And I don't think the Greyjoys are going to be too happy about that one. Okay, let's move down to Lannisport. Yes, now, I did have Brendan Tully moving down to Kraken, Kraken or Kraken Hall to take out the settlement, but now I've changed my mind... There was half a stack there from what Sol said, but <laughs> Theon Greyjoy has landed with a full stack just off the coast, like just near it. So there goes that idea. Uh, I'm not going to fight Theon Greyjoy just after I've killed his father. <laughs> so that's oh, okay. We're being besieged at the Stony Step. Uh, I, I was in there, but then I moved my troops out. So. What's at Harrenhal? That army's pretty good, the besieging army. So I'm actually going to move everyone except for Bracken. I'm going to... I could go down and face Waters there. Or I could rally back up at Harrenhal. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Harrenhal. And then we're going to lose minimal losses against them. Because how long can that last for? Another 8 turns. So, What happens if I march out against them? 3 to 2 ratio. Around about 3,000 men versus 
2,400. That second army isn't very good though, it's only just full of militia. I'll wait, I'll wait until these reinforcements come, we'll, because if I had to lose a settlement, it would be Stony Step over Harrenhal. Harrenhal's a really good settlement. Maybe the, maybe the Arons will come, because I do believe that he's married to, no, 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 Robert Aaron is married to Karstark, or I can't remember, or Har, or he's married to uh, one of the Karstark girls, I can't quite remember what Sol said to me, but... We might need some reinforcements back up to Pike because we're looking kind of slim at the moment. We can't really recruit any troops. Uh, we, we'll get some money next term, but it's going to be very interesting to see how we develop because I've got pretty much I pretty much left River undefended. I got Sol to come down and uh, send Horsebane to just kind of block the north, just in case the Ironborn or uh, Greyjoy army came through, and I can quickly rally up and take out of Harrenhal. But yeah, probably going to lose the settlement. We're going to lose the settlement in the next couple of turns, I guarantee you. And I really do need to get... Hmm, I really do need to get Brendan over there. But if I move the ships away, if I move the ships away, there won't be a retreat. But mind you. Um, yeah, like I said, mind you. If they attack me, there's not going to be a retreat, so... I do need reinforcements. How many turns? Three. How many turns to this settlement? One. I could send some troops out of Lannisport. Seeing that Rob and Brandon are here. I think we should be right. We're pretty right. We've got archers. We've got enough archers. We have enough swordsmen. We've got the heavy swordsmen as well. So, cross my fingers and hope, hope not to die. So, um, I'm going to end it here and I'm going to give the turn back to Sol. Obviously. I don't know. I always seem to say that after a while. I'm going to turn it back to Sol. Over to you, Sol. Well, evidently. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to end it here and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Okay, so you want the good news or the bad news? Good news, Simps has taken uh, Pike and killed Balon Greyjoy, the Lord Reaper of Pike. The bad news is there is a fuck ton of Greyjoys at Craycall, led by Fionn, who's now the faction heir. He's rather, ooh, he's actually a decent commander. <laughs> there is a lot of fucking Greyjoys there. All I can hope is that they go south and attack the Reach rather than going north and attacking me. Because most of my forces are about to go north, so, uh, you know... <laughs> Let's hope Fionn isn't is as stupid as he is in the actual books. But anyway, we'll move Brown over here. And he can be joined by Umbar. joining our forces. Move out. An honor, my lord. In your name, sir. Let them stay there for now. Let's just use this diplomat for a second to go look at what at the bane for shitty units, really. Can I at all get close enough to see both of them? No, not really. Okay, we'll keep one diplomat there for now. We did have two diplomats. Where's the other one gone? He's right there. There you go. Now we can see both the Bane 4 and the Crag. Uh, some slightly even worse news. Uh, the Greyjoys, uh, not Greyjoys, Joffrey, I'm sorry, has appeared to have taken Stony Sept. And I'm not entirely sure what the current situation is with Harren Hall. The last time uh, Simps asked, told me about it, he said he was uh, moving forces from around this general area to go lift the siege. How that's going, I have no idea. Uh, this is the reason we've left... Uh, my full stack of infantry and army right here, just in case they attack anywhere around this general area, I can quickly rally him and cover cover this decent area to uh, go attack him if need be. But yeah, we can't move uh, any longer. I don't want to go to war with them just to move a little tiny inch, so we'll go to war with them in the next turn. Hopefully, this Greyjoy army will go south and attack the Reach. 
That's my hope, anyway. Hell, at least if they're here, that means the Iron Islands and the rest of the places are relatively undefended. Hopefully. Probably not. My luck's never that good. Anyway, guys, that's all from me for now. We'll end the turn and hope to hell that Simps can hold off Joffrey's advance for a bit. Anyway, next turn. What is up? And it's going to go Simpsy here. And today for you, we have another House Tully turn. So let's get straight right into it, shall we? Okay. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this, to be quite honest. So. Um, let's actually do a quick recap of what's happened. Okay, we lost the Stony Sept. Being besieged at Harrenhal soon. Nothing too spectacular there. They actually look like badass compared to them, but... Actually, like, worse. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, we took Pike, didn't we? I totally forgot about that with Edmure, Tully, and Randall Tarly, so... Okay. We still have Lannisport. Let's bump up the tax. Oh, eh, that's not too bad. Only a decrease in population. Water fray. Okay, uh, I think we're going to march on... This Lannister army. We're going to bro block it from behind and then we're going to fly up with uh, this fray here and we're just going to push them back around. Um, 3 to 2 ratio. Not really a point of playing it to be quite honest. We have a shitload more than them and there's no general. So I'm going to auto resolve it and probably lose more men playing it. We execute. Now. I left the Riverlands pretty much undefended while I went to Harrenhal. So I'm going to have to... Well, so I'll put Horsebane just to block any Ironborn advances from Riverrun. So... Hmm. I'm going to rally up the troops. And we're going to take the Stony Sept back. I'm going to go back and leave a full stack at Riverrun. And then we'll push around to the Stony Sept. So, um, yeah, that's all really what we can do. Where's our... We've got alliances with Baratheon, Tyrell, and Aaron. We're at war with the Greyjoys and Joffrey. Okay. I think that's pretty much it all I can do. I'm going to end the turn now. So, uh, bye guys. Okay then, when we last left off, Rob and Brown are moving along the coast. We're officially declaring war against Greyjoy now. Since he's already taken the uh, their capital at Pike, so <laughs> we may as well. Rob will lay siege to the crag. <laughs> Killing the crow's eye in the process. I highly doubt the Greyjoys can muster any forces to stop me in this little advance. But uh, we'll uh, recruit a decent force at Castle Rock or Castle Stark, just in case they attack the coastline at all. Not to mention the fact that they do have a force at Craig Hall. Uh, Craig Hall. But they border with Simsy, so hopefully they won't attack me. That's a plan, anyway. Uh, news from him, he's defeated Joffrey's forces at Harren Hall and is marching on the Stony Sept to take it back. So that's a bit more income for both of us, really, with trade rights and everything. Anyway, that's all for now. When we, next turn, uh, for me anyway, we'll take the crag and continue to move up to the Bane Fort and probably go across the Island Islands to help out Simps as well. So, yeah. Anyway, next turn. Hello, everyone. Welcome ah. back. So, uh, let's get straight and right into it, shall we? Now, who's here? Tommen. Okay. Join a slint. It's a full stack army at the Stony Sept. There's another army, but Joffrey's armies are very, very shit, <laughs> to be quite honest. Recruit more. Uh, we'll make a full stack at Harrenhal. Say that. And probably probably that lot. Actually, that lot. Now we'll move the rest. Can we move into each other? Not quite. We're going to rally up here with Titus Blackwood 
and this fray, we're actually going to head to the stony sept and retake it. By the time we get that, we'll have some more troops on the way. Just retreat. Actually, want these retrained first. I guess this army can go to Raven Tree. How are we going up here? Flint, Flint's finger. <laughs> As I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted there. How dare that person? Um, I think that's all really I can do. I've got a full stack at Lannis Port. I'm uh, I'm kind of wary about moving out of Pike because of the Greyjoys and their superior fleet. And we don't really have enough to leave. We can't take half really and take either ten towers or Kamut. Yeah, I don't feel safe enough leaving Pike and Pike is a fortress, so we can pretty much defend a full stack from here easily because we've got pretty decent troops. Lannis Port is okay. Fort's okay. So yeah, we're just moving to take the stony step. So there's going to be some battles along the way. Might even be able to kill Tommen on the way. I have no problems with Tommen. He's always a... Looks kind of cute there, but his brother I utterly despise. Um, I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, let's take the crag. Goodbye, the crow's eye. I lord. I my king. My king. Move out. I, okay, we'll let Brandon siege I, the main the fort for a bit. I sire. The siege goes as planned. My king. Just to get rid of some of the drowned gold religion, we'll uh, build a thing there. Just to keep him happy. Now, I do have some minor concerns right now. Okay, first, I didn't notice this guy here. What the hell are you up to, mate? <laughs> You're a little bit far away from home, aren't you? Thought you could escape and attack River Run? I think not. But yeah, this is a bit of a concern. What are you doing? What, what's he got planned? <laughs> Stay away from my f***ing settlements, goddammit. <laughs> I mean, I have an outstanding relationship with House Eren, so I don't think they'd attack me and betray me, but, uh... I wouldn't put it past the AI, to be perfectly honest. We got, uh, Garland Tyrell, who's now the heir of Highgarden. At Silverhill, and apparently, according to Simples, we've got... Ah, there they are. There's Fion. Sneaky little bugger. In a prime location to attack Lannisport, although it is, uh, defended. I'm thinking about moving the Horsebane down to River Run, uh, not River Run, uh, Lannisport and Castle Rock just to ward them off a little bit. But yeah, we'll keep Brandon sieging the Bane Fort. He can go in there and take it later on. And Rob will sail across and attack there. But first of all, we will need ships. Which we'll have in three turns, so that Rob can go across there. I'm really, really not comfortable with those Aaron forces being there like this. I'm just going to build some defenses. Although, if they want to attack me, there's not really much that I can do about that. Okay then, when we come back, we'll take the Bane Forts. That's all for now, next turn. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So let's get straight right into it. Okay, now we have this army here with Titus Blackwood. I originally said that I was going to take the Stony Sept. To be quite frank, I've actually changed my mind. Um, to be honest, the Stony Sept isn't really, I don't know, isn't really a great settlement to be honest. It's only a large town and uh, to be honest, it's going to be a lot of bloody <laughs> a bloody conflict to take it back and then Joffrey's going to come again and to be honest I think I might just go back and just 
Uh, just re garrison the uh, Riverlands. I'm going to put everyone back. I'm going to put half a stack into River Run of this, half a stack into River Run, half a stack into Pink Main, because if they come at Pink Main, I can throw them back quite easily. And uh, basically, I want to get another army because. Uh, Sol took the crag and is actually besieging Baneford, I do believe. So I reckon we should just push on the Greyjoys and then we can go at Joffrey, uh, as we were saying. But like I said, it's not its not like a really important settlement. You don't even get that much money from it. So I think it's better just to uh, protect the Riverlands more than advancing that way. Because, yeah, <laughs> we don't have that much money at the moment. So, But in saying that, I am going to recruit a little bit more troops. So... Yeah. Probably some crossbowmen and raven tree. That's pretty much all we can do there. Um, scouts have been reported that Theon Greyjoy's down here at Crake. Or was it Krakenhall? I can't quite remember. Don't quote me on that. But I do know that for a fact there's three stacks down there along with Theon Greyjoy, Aaron Dampere, and Dagmar Cleftjaw. So that's interesting to see. There's a Greyjoy fleet there. And uh, I don't feel like moving this. Army just quite yet. Can re trade some troops though. Be handy. Okay. And also Sol told me there's an R and an R and army out there which he doesn't like the look of. But to Oh yes Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Edmure Tully had a son. Well, as I, that's awesome. That's awesome. I totally forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, that was it. Um, there was an Aran army. Yeah, which is rather interesting. Like it was, looked a little bit sus outside the twins, but that's awesome. He's actually had a son with Ulyssa Royce, so that's awesome. He has an heir. So, um, on that high note, I'm actually going to end the turn, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Okay, guys. First things first. Let's uh, recruit some more troops from Castle Rock. There's no point in recruiting the twins. The Aaron's have buggered off, and my alliance with them is outstanding. So, there you go. It's outstanding with the Reach as well. Not particularly as good with Terrell, but nevertheless. Uh, not particularly good with Renly, I mean. <laughs> uh, but Renly's not sharing borders with us, so I'm not that concerned about him. But yeah, we will send... Brandon against the Ironborn. Let's do this. Glory for Scotland! To arms! Now, in theory, it should be relatively easily. The Ironborn tend to fight on foot, and they don't really have any cavalry forces, and most of their units suck, by the looks of things. They do have decent units, but uh, the AI tends to build crappy ones. <laughs> But a well-placed cavalry charge can wipe out their generals without any fucking problems whatsoever. The best thing to do is send these guys in and take the walls. And keep Bran with his cavalry and these infantry outside of the walls with him in preparation for attacking that other army that's going to come. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Okay, send these guys up to the walls. Uh, it's going to take a while for their reinforcements to actually get to me, so... We should be able to take the walls and maybe the castle before they even reach us. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. But our forces are vastly superior to theirs, so it should be relatively easy to take the walls. Men 
And the gates are down. Is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. What are my guys doing? Whatever, we're bringing these uh, infantry like this. We should be able to take the entire city before anything even happens. But you notice the uh, Ironborn generals tend to stay on foot, so it's uh, quite the advantage for me with my cavalry. We should be able to take the city before they can even get to us. As long as we can keep the majority of these uh, militia units out of the way. Okay, times two, and we should be able to take the town centre before the Ironborn can even do anything to stop me. They've got their reinforcements arriving, but they'll never get me to me in time. <laughs> And there goes the crow's eye. The They're faction air the as well, actually. Badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Uh, sorry, we killed the crow's eye already, didn't we? <laughs> and the battle, clear victory. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm getting my uh, Greyjoys mixed up there for a second. I do believe we've killed all of Theon's relatives now. He's the only Greyjoy left. <laughs> Which I may march Rob uh, south with to the, take him out that way. Then again, we haven't seen the damp here yet, have we? I'm not yours to command. Don't I, my liege. I think I'm going to go south with Rob and go take out Fion. Now that we've got the bird's eye view over here, we'll just take our diplomats back down so we can keep an eye on uh, our next enemy, which will be Joffrey. Okay, that is all for now. Next turn. Hello everyone, uh, Simpsy here, and let's get straight right into it, shall we? Okay. Well, how are we going to get Pike? Okay, we're going to recruit and retrain. 
Yeah, we'll retreat them troops. Land support still good. Okay. I'm actually going to move these three troops out into Raven Tree. Then the rest is going to go into River Run and Pigman. Who's this? Harris Harlow. Okay. Um. Well, let's divide them kind of equally out. Well, it's a crossbowman. Okay, say. Uh, or we could just do that. <laughs> um, and then, say. It's fair enough. That lot will go into River Run, and that lot will go into Pink Maiden. Rally up the troops. Now it's going to go on a mass retrain. We're recruiting in River Run, and basically I'm just going to go on the defensive uh, until I get some more troops. Like it's get, it'd be a bloody battle, and it'd be kind of a waste of time. And it's it's kind of hard to defend because it's obviously not a castle. So uh, I'm talking about the Stony Step. I don't know why you wouldn't notice that, but yeah. Um, Theon Greyjoy is lurking around here, so we're probably going to have a battle against him. Now, I do believe there's a, that's a pretty big army there. Well, let's have a little bit of a scout of the Iron Islands, like, because I'm pretty sure they're pretty likely... Yeah, look at that. Now, there's only two troops in ten towers, but... Say I take, what, one... I take that and a lot of archers with Randall Tarly. That leaves pie cut with half a stack... And seeing that there, how many turns? Two. What about this settlement here? Apart from that army there, I think I'm gonna have to wait for Stoll to get there. I don't feel confident enough to hold Pike with half a stack. Maybe when we retrain them, I might think of it. I'm just gonna have to recruit more troops here, and uh, just stay on the defense in the Riverlands. Going to see how it all defends. There's, no, there's the Martell Princess. Okay. Hang on. Oh. Now I thought. I thought I saw that. Um. I guess we can say. What? Put this lot. Don't know why they just didn't. Turn then. I'll oh, we'll put that into Raven Tree and we'll put this lot into Harren Hall. So that's good. Just guess retrain more. Huh. Okay. What about in Lannisport? Well, we do have that small army here. Okay, I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next turn. Bye-bye.